Hi everyone, my name is Kai and welcome to my review for The Northman, directed and written by Robert Eagers, starring Nicole Kidman, Ethan Hawke, Alexander Skarsgård, Clive Bang and also Anne Taylor-Joy. Now, before we jump into this review, I just wanted to ask you a quick question concerning this movie and concerning the main actor, Alexander Skarsgård. Now, I have a quick question which I would love to know which you will think. Do you believe that Alexander Skarsgård could play a young Aragorn if, for some reason, um, it was to come f to fruition that they wanted to, you know, dive down deeper into Aragorn's kind of arc in Lord of the Rings? From my point of view, when I was watching this, there was a lot of scenes where I thought, is this Aragorn in the movie, or, you know, th that's how I took it. I don't know if you think the same, that was just something which I picked up on. Let me know in the comment section below, and... Without other way, just straight into this review. So, something which I feel lets this movie down, from my experience, is how much praise and reviews and I guess the rave everybody gave this movie. I think when it has the praise that this movie did, it was always going to fall flat. It was tipped to be the next three hundred in some sense, and also the next Gladiator. Now, the Gladiator references you can somewhat understand due to the story aspect. However, when it comes to the 300 part, there's only about one scene which is, I guess you could say, really mesmerizing, which kind of go in the same path of 300, but without the, but that's pretty much it. Um, another thing which I found to be a bit of a nuisance with this movie is the storyline. Um, the storyline is very complex to a certain degree. And it's a it's a bit of a movie whereby you have to be very very focused, and in some elements you also have to have some kind of research into um, things like Odin and things of that the Vikings era kind of religion and things of that nature, because if you miss, I would say if 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 at, if at any time you kind of miss any details, you're gonna miss a lot of the movie, and that is something which I think kind of lets it down as such another problem is that there are too many elements um there are too many elements in the way that everything just happens as accordingly it's not like there's, there's never any really trials or tribulations it just it just always seems to work out and that's something which i thought was a bit annoying now when it comes to the actual storyline of the northman so basically um a king basically returns back from battle or from his long adventures and in doing so he's greeted by a son who we've been wanting for for the last however long it's been and in a nutshell what happens is his brother gets jealous because he doesn't necessarily he will not um, be given a throne after the king dies and in doing so he basically decides to revolt uh, kills um, the, f the um, king and it's basically a redemption movie whereby um, Bill Skarsgård is, I guess you could say, groomed or kind of in some ritual whereby he has to avenge his father's death. And that's basically the movie as such. Um, now, when it comes to things which I did like, the action scenes in this movie were top notch. Were top notch. Um, one particular scene which, as I alluded to, remind me of 300 was when Bill Skarsgård was walking down, um, I guess you could say a little bit of a road in the, one of the first parts of him joining up with um, a new kind of group of people. And one of the people, one of the villagers, should we say, throws um, a spear and he basically catches the spear and then throws it back. And I thought that scene was pretty epic. Um, also, there was also a big twist at the end, and that was concerning Nicole Kidman's character. So, we all believe in the first part of the movie that Nicole Kidman is kidnapped. However, we later on find out that she is actually in on the um, revolt which, her, which Bill Skarsgård's uncle was involved in and, and ended up killing um, her husband as such. And it turns out that she actually... Um, I guess you could say didn't really necessarily love Alexander Skarsgård as such. She did love him, but it wasn't necessarily true love because she was kind of seen as a slave and was basically just used as, as, as a breeding farm. Now, that aside, 
another part of the movie which I liked was that this was very gruesome. Two of there was about two scenes in the movie which I thought was very um, unsettling. The first one was of a horse. Um, you know, the horse is basically um, kind of decapitated as such, and the second one is when. Um, which I thought was actually pretty dark and I didn't think they would actually go through this part but but you actually see um, Bull Skarsgård's, I guess you could say half-brother being killed and also the mother being killed, so Nicole Kidman's character being killed um, I thought those two scenes were pretty gruesome and a bit unsettling but overall I thought that part was, you know, every, if, everything when it comes to the action scenes were pretty was good and pretty well done um, but overall, my however, my overall rating for the North Moon would have to be a 6 out of 10. Um, I just felt that there was too much praise going into this and that was something which basically let the movie down for me. Let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Uh, my next review would be for Uncharted, um, the one with Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg. So uh, definitely look forward to seeing those. And yeah, um, let me know what you all think in the comment section below and I also have a TikTok. Um, account which I've just set up so if you wouldn't mind checking that out you're much appreciated but without the way thank you for watching and I see you all on my next video peace